Humans have always dreamed of flying, having the freedom and the grace of a bird to soar through the sky. Greek mythology tells the story of Icarus, who escaped from the island of Crete with wings made of bird feathers and wax, only to fly too close to the sun. Leonardo da Vinci sketched many concepts for flying machines that would be able to elevate man into the sky. I'm on my way into the Alps to be part of a new attempt to push the boundaries of human flight. To capture what's about to happen, we need to start about 3,000 feet above sea level. It's from this peak that we'll be filming a new attempt in the story of human flight. But let's go back a minute. The history of flight is one of successes and of failures. Our big breakthrough was the combustion engine, which burns fossil fuels to generate a huge amount of energy. But what if we could do things differently, like an electric engine that runs on renewable energy with battery storage, but still generates a huge amount of power? This is Peter Salzman. He's a pioneer in human flight, and this project is really his brainchild. Peter has skydived and base jumped thousands of times, but today he's going to do something different, something that no one else has ever done before. The electric engine is being mounted to a frame on his chest. There's a control in his hand which allows him to activate it while it's in flight. Peter is about to fly the world's first electric wingsuit. To do that, he needs to start at about 10,000 feet above sea level. As Peter turns on the electric engine, he begins to fly. The truth is that this isn't just about that one flight. It's about showing the possibility of a future where electric transport and renewable energy are more exciting than we ever could have imagined. Who knows, maybe one day we'll all be zipping around in our own personal electric wingsuits. <laughs>